Hello, my name is Ipian from Japan. This is my workout video for Haten World Championship 2024 Hoop Station category. Let's go! Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That might be my favorite track I've ever heard from Impotence. You know, I always say this when I hear something fucking crazy from somebody that I'm a really big fan of that absolutely blows my mind. I always say it's my favorite, but I actually like genuinely, truly might believe this might be my favorite from him. But you're, we were saying, we were talking a little bit before we started watching the, this video. I noticed that yep. Impotence wasn't using the MK2 in this track. I think you said he was using Bitwig, so I'm not too familiar with the software itself but can you like for my viewers because i feel like a lot of people who watch me probably aren't very familiar with that stuff as like i am like what's yeah. um what's the approach of like creating something like this on a software like bitwig in comparison to like creating it on like an mk2 yeah um so the difference is actually pretty big because bitwig itself is a daw a digital audio workstation that's like Ableton, Logic, um, FL Studio, which are actually used to make like 
um, release tracks like for EDM, hip hop, all that. So it's really, really professional like software. And basically, the main difference is that it's more like sequencing than looping. At this point, it's more like a DJ set because what he did, it's I think he used basically the exact same setup um, KBA did for for his GBP producer um, showcases, which was like actually can we can we go back to the like in the middle of the video where we oh, can sure. see his yeah. yeah. Somewhere with a wide angle. Yeah, that that work. Um, so yeah, so he has the TC Helicon, like the yellow box, for the auto tune and voice processing. He has an audio interface where he plugs his mic in, and then he has the Helix, and then everything goes in his computer, and then he controls it with the launchpad. Um, so yeah, basically he would sample all the sounds as you. See in the beginning of the video, he goes like, ah, uh, right, yeah. and then basically everything is mapped out through MIDI on Bitwig. The the whole song from start to finish is already predetermined, so nothing is looped per se, but like everything is sampled at the start and played in sequence. So, also like for the Mark II, like. There are five tracks, and you can overdub on them. But then, um, for Bitwig is like you can basically do whatever you want. It's like unlimited, and yeah, all the plugins you can think of, all the technology you can think of, basically you can use. So, yeah, it's still like, given that it it still takes like, arguably more skill. It's a different type of skill to to get to the level in impedance is at right now like that last drop really really <laughs> yeah <laughs> hit really hard yeah you'll you'll see wh what i did during that drop when <laughs> the video comes out bro yeah I, like it's so weird because you know like people who've been watching me for a long time i obviously know that i'm a massive fan of loop station i just actually got a loop station myself like not even a month ago so like i feel like when i watched people on the mk2 like it, it took me a long time to kind of like grasp what they're doing on that. Um, and now I have one for myself. So it's like easier for me to understand when I'm actually watching and reacting to these videos. But now we have things coming into play like Loopy Pro and Bitwig and like Ableton, uh, these softwares, right? That have like far more capabilities or give you even more yeah. freedom of creativity when it comes to looping. And now I feel like I started over from like <laughs> ground zero, right? Trying to understand this side of looping into one that I've been watching for years and just delving into myself now. But, um, yeah, I'm here for it. Like absolutely a hundred percent. Uh, like I feel like you can probably create something like this on the MK two, but it obviously wouldn't be that fleshed out in terms of like sound design and whatnot. Um, that, it, that it is for this version here that impotence did. So, but man, what a crazy, crazy track. Uh, it definitely is an impotence kind of style for sure. Like it doesn't matter what yeah. he uses. MK2 could be this. It's always his kind of style. It's his, his vision of music and stuff. So it definitely screams impotence. Also, I got to say like his, the way he performed here, I don't know in this video in particular, reminded me a lot of um, uh, chaos for some reason. I don't know why. Just yeah. like the way he was like moving his arms and stuff. Just like something yeah. I thought I'd point <laughs> out. But uh, yeah. Yeah, absolute killer track, man, from Infinite and Like, again, it might be my favorite from him. A little bit biased because we just watched it, but obviously I'm a massive fan of Infinite. And yeah, this might be some of the best stuff I saw so far. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I agree. This is probably my favorite as well. I, I think it's it's either this or his GBP round one wildcard from last Ooh, year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that one's iconic. Yeah, like that. that one is more like, that flute sound is still like really impressive to me um but yeah like i'm i'm all for the evolution as well and i feel like this kind of format lets us loopers and beatboxers to actually um like the performance aspect is still there but then it actually lets us realize our music to its fullest potential in in many different ways and it's kind of like Honestly, I feel like this type of performance is a little 
easier for people to understand as in they people can pretty much treat it like a dj set and like you know understand there's sampling and then it's basically performing the song after that but then with like second device and mark ii it's like because there are so many different um secret or hidden techniques or like pretty niche stuff going on i feel like it's a little harder on that end but yeah i'm, I'm really interested to see see how people evolve and where people go with all this because people can also like me for example i'm 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 dipping my toes into to loopy pro as well so i also do use ableton myself so we'll see how that goes and yeah just really excited for it. and as Im impedance says like this is the future you know like this is um yeah um this and solo device stuff it's it's going to be more separated but then they, they would have each they each have its perks you know and i love it yeah i was going to say that like um obviously you know with the gbb and stuff is like the most premier like battle competition in the entire planet um hopefully mk2 like keeps its place in in the near future because like, i think it does have its like it has its own kind of charm right like yeah. you know seeing people like create stuff on the spot um this is like this this is a completely different kind of vibe but i love it like just as much right but um i think there's definitely still a place for the mk2 like the solo device stuff so hopefully we don't see that going go away anytime soon um but i'm still here for this like this is definitely the future of looping i think um because you see like a lot of people more people just getting into it like time after time again like this is not the first time i heard somebody um use a software mainly to for a wild card um so i think we'll be seeing a lot more of this kind of stuff in the near future but yeah just like like you said like it, it was a big argument when the second devices were kind of coming in but i was always i was kind of like in the middle of it of that kind of argument i do like the mm -hmm. fact that it gives you more freedom of creativity and i think think that's like the main selling point right here right like you don't want yeah. people having restraints in creating music um yeah so yeah this is ultimately i think a very good thing as long as they keep it separated because you don't want people to have like technical advantages over others but i think people are like on top of that now they kind of realize this is why there's a producer category now right for the most prestigious event so yeah that's pretty much it um yeah. i really enjoyed this this is absolutely yeah, crazy like display of talent here from impotence um i had high expectations for impotence because of how much I watch him and how much I follow him. But this blew my expectations out of the water, uh, genuinely. So, um, yeah, so go give some impotence some love. Go check out his channel. Uh, it's in the description. Go leave his video like, you know. Um, he's absolutely amazing. And, yeah, this is some of his best stuff I, I've heard from him. So, yeah, go leave a like on his original video. Go check out his channel. Link's in the description. If you want to support me, though, you can leave a like on this video. You can sub to my channel. Uh, check out my Discord channel as well. Link's in the description to that. And Duncan. And yeah, if you want to support me, you can follow me on Instagram or subscribe to me on YouTube under the name Duncan Loops. Thank you. Other than that, we will see you in the next Beatbox Reaction video.